Today I want to show you my special technique for creating repeating patterns in Photoshop. I've written about it in several of my earlier books, but I've not seen it done this way anywhere else. I like to play with images a lot better than I like to pre-plan them. So this technique both lets me play and make certain that the pattern will seamlessly tile when I'm done playing. The only thing you need to decide in advance is how large your final repeat will be. For this example, I'm working in a file that is 200 by 200 pixels square. The key thing here is decide in advance. Before you start creating anything, you need to decide how big you want your tile to be. I want this first example to be really simple. So first I chose File, New, 200 by 200 pixels. I then created the two different shapes that you see in this image. I chose the Polygon tool, which is here in the same place as the Rectangle tool. And then I set its sides up here on the Options bar to 6. Now I'm going to actually create the rectangle by bringing my cursor into the image and dragging. If it starts to go outside of the image, all I need to do is hold the space bar, drag the object back in the image. It doesn't matter where. Anywhere inside of this tile is absolutely fine. The next step in this process is to define each of these shapes in its own pattern. First, I need to turn off all of the eyes. Now let's just turn back one of them on. Choose Edit, Define Pattern, and let me call this Hex 1, H-E-X 1, click OK. Now I'm going to turn off this eye, turn on the next one. Edit, Define Pattern, Hex 2. OK. Finally, turn this eye off. Turn the next one on, Edit, Define Pattern, Hex 3. Click OK. At this point, we have all of our patterns defined. I could actually toss this file at this point, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to choose File, Save, if this works, File, Save As and I'm going to give it a name and let's just call this Hex Motifs M-O-T-I-F-S dot P-S-D This lets me know that this file contains all of the shapes that I need for the pattern in case something gets lost or I need to start over again this is the file to use We made the motif file 200 pixels square. If I want to be able to make a repeat of this and watch what's happening as I'm doing it, I need to have at least three repeats in each direction. So for my make a repeat file, I'm just going to create one that's 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. Give me about five repeats in each direction. File new 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. Don't worry now that it's 72 dpi in R RGB color. It just doesn't matter for the moment. It's the technique that we're interested in. Now comes the fun part. I want to place each motif in my new file using a pattern fill layer. We just created three patterns and now it's time to try them out. The super thing about pattern fill layers is that you can move them around and then they just keep repeating and repeating no matter where you move them. So to show you how to add the pattern fill layer using the command first, I'm going to go layer, new fill layer, pattern. Pattern fill, click OK, and let's pick the first one that we did which was the large one. Well, let's choose this and click OK. Now I'm going to add the next one and it's just as easy, actually easier, to go in here in the Layers panel and choose 
pattern layer. Okay, that picked the last one, the little one that we did. I'm going to click OK there. Now maybe I don't want that exactly the way it fell. I'm going to move that around. Okay, let's see what happens if we leave it there. Let's add another pattern fill layer. Pattern and pick the motif that we haven't done yet, which was this first one, I believe. Well, that doesn't look particularly good, so let's move that around, see if we can find a spot that we like it. Okay, that still looks to me as if maybe it needs another something in this middle piece. So I'm just going to try duplicating this layer and moving it around to see whether maybe I like that any better. Okay, that's not totally, totally horrible. This will actually do for a start of showing you the way the system works. Do you remember that I said that the most critical thing was to know your repeat size? Here's why. I know it sounds either like magic or like total gobbledygook, but it always works. We set up a repeat originally of 200 pixels. Any square selection of exactly 200 pixels will contain the entire seamless tile and allow us to define the final tile. So first let me save this file as hex build. File, save as, and I'm going to call this hex build. As you can see, we've so saved all of these so far with the name hex in them. And by my calling this a build file, I know it has a lot of pattern fill layers. So the next thing I'm going to do is to select the rectangular marquee tool, give it a fixed size, and in this case, I want it to be that 200 pixels by 200 pixels size of the tile. Then all I need to do is put my marquee somewhere in the image. And it doesn't matter where. What I'm going to do, though, is to turn off the background so that I don't get the white. And I can pick any other color that I want after this is a pattern. So I'm going to choose Edit, Define Pattern, and I'm going to call this Hex Final. F-I-N-A-L. Okay. Okay, let me deselect that, Command or Control D, and turn off all of these layers. Now we have nothing. I have nothing up my sleeve. Now let's go back, Edit, excuse me, Layer, New Fill Layer, Pattern. Okay, and there it is. Here in the Pattern Presets is the pattern that we just defined, and it is exactly the same. Let me pull it above so that you can see the difference. If I turn all of these on and that off, it's in a different location, but it's the same as the ones that, we've been, that we had been working for with. Everything is in the same position. There's so much more that you can do with this. We can add color, we can even change the pattern, we can change the motifs, but I think this is enough to digest for right now. So, till later.